Hey, it's Kim. Welcome back to Martin May TV. In today's video, I'm taking you on a journey. The journey that is styling my etagere, or shelf styling, or bookshelf styling, or styling an etagere if you just want to sound bougie. I'm going to cover all the tips you'll need to style a shelf like a pro. I'm going to break down the do's and the don'ts so that you can have confidence in styling any shelf in any area of your home. Hey. So I wanna make this as simple as possible. And for me, that means condensing it into the least amount of steps as possible. But before we get into the steps, I kinda of need to touch on two ideas. The first is that you should start with a color palette. Now this color palette should be comprised of, I don't know, three, maybe four different colors that you have in mind that all blend well together and go with your overall space or the overall space wherever this shelf is located. In my case, I would say that the colors I have would probably be green, gold, or brass, um, white, and black. So those will be my four colors, green, gold, white, and black. And actually, I mean, considering the shelf is gold or brass in itself, I feel like that one is like a given. It shouldn't be part of my palette. So maybe I can add in another color. I don't know, whatever. So those are the colors that I'm using in my palette. So that's what I'm gonna base my selections for all the things that are going on the shelf. And though I said white, maybe some of my items might be ivory or beige like a light beige i don't know but you get where i'm going with it just make sure they're all in the same general color family and that leads to idea number two that we want to keep in mind make sure you gather more items than you think you need so because we're going to be trying a few things out putting this there or there or maybe a larger size of that same frame who knows gather as many things as possible and i'll give you a little bit of a hint make sure that you buy these items from stores with generous return policies. Cause who's to say, I mean, you don't want to keep them all. If you're not going to use them on your shelf, you can return them. You're just trying them out in this styling session. Maybe it's going to take you a day to knock it out, maybe two days, but you'll return it within a few days if you're not going to use it, or you can absolutely move it to a different area of your home. Thrift stores are also a great place to find things for your shelf styling. They are chock full of knickknacks, and tchotchkes and whatever else you call them just stuff object <laughs> that you want to put on your shelves and make them really nice and pretty and you can find things for a couple of dollars maybe two or three dollars for some really pretty items to add to your shelf styling also you can find books at the thrift store so you might run across some books that look nice and look aged, but have like no content that you actually want to read, but you can get these books to add to your shelf styling. And since you typically cannot return to most thrift stores, just make sure you pick things that speak to you, things that you really love and things that you are sure you won't want to return. Now let's get into the steps. Step number one is to clear your shelves completely. That means if you have anything on them already, take everything off. However, if you're starting from shelves that are already styled and you kind of want to keep maybe that same format or same flow, if you have things at different heights and you really like that, be sure to take a picture of it so that you don't forget it. You can also look to Pinterest for some really great ideas and inspiration for how you can style your shelves. All right, step number two, after you've cleared everything off, start with your larger items. This might be larger vases or um, large picture frames that you might have or some sculptural items. And be sure to remember that maybe these sculptural items you'll want to sit closer to the front of the shelf. So that means you're going to maybe have to place the smaller items behind it or around it. But aside from sculptural items, larger items would normally go towards the back of your shelves. But start with those larger items first and balance them out on the shelves. Next, I like to layer in books. And I always choose to layer books both horizontally and vertically. I don't just stick to one rule, like they all have to be horizontal or they all have to be vertical. I actually think it looks a lot better when you mix them up. You can do both on the same shelves and the styling will still look great. For this reason though, you wanna choose books with spines that complement your palette. 
I'll usually remove the dust jackets if I'm using books on a shelf because the jackets tend to be more brightly colored than we need on the shelf. And if you don't have enough books that go along with your color palette, you can always flip the books around so that the, the pages are showing instead of the spines. This adds more dimension and height without distracting the eye with colors that don't vibe with everything else. After the books, we're gonna layer in some smaller items. And in my case, this includes plants, always plants. And this is where you wanna play around a bit. Place some items, step back, rearrange some more items, step back, See if the whole visual makes sense. You want the shelves themselves to look good, but you also want each shelf to look good with one another in a full picture. You want everything to be on the same page. Sometimes I'll even take pictures of the shelves to see if the overall view looks balanced and stylish together. And if I'm really not too sold on the composition, I'll step away for a while, maybe come back to it the next day to see if I'm feeling it more or less and make adjustments from there. And there you have it, four easy steps to styling a shelf like a pro. And actually, because this can really be a fun process, I'll throw in a fifth step. And that would be to switch it up every so often. Maybe every season, or if that's too much for you, every six months or every year, you can really have fun playing around with it and tailoring the shelves to fit your space. And if you're like me, who makes frequent trips to like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, you can really get into switching it up pretty often. So if that's your thing, enjoy it. It's a really fun process and a really fun journey, as I called it, to go on. But it's really important to remember that you don't have to stay married to one look. It can switch up over time, and that's perfectly fine. It can be fun to let the shelves just evolve, and that kind of takes a lot of the pressure away from you feeling like you have to get it perfect on the first try, because you don't. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video and that it provided some shelf styling tips for you. Please let me know if you found these tips helpful on your quest to perfect shelf styling. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Am I even saying this right? Etagere. 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 Doesn't sound right. Don't buy it. Etagere. 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 Etagere.